some of the most important for people to pay attention to. Skipping the inspection to save a few bucks. This is a massive, massive mistake. I'm a hardcore investor myself. We always pay for a property inspection, even though I understand properties and my partner is a licensed contractor. We'll go through it ourselves first, then we pay the inspector to come by. Why? The inspector is going to go through the checklist. They're going to do structural, pest, mechanical, electrical, whole house. Then they give you a giant punch list of what's happening instead of, oh, you know what? I can save $300, $500. If you're buying an asset that's a quarter million dollars or a million dollars, the price of the inspection, it's so minuscule. Therefore, always do it, use it as a punch list, and if the deal is horrible because of the condition of the property, use it to back out. Underestimating the repair costs. The idea is this, everyone walks into the house and they look and they go, oh wow, this is only gonna cost five grand to fix. And the reality is it costs like 15 or 50. They massively underestimate repairs and because they haven't done it, especially in flipping, you open up the wall, and this is for a property right over here, it was on 55th. We opened up the wall in the kitchen because we're like, oh, the, the kitchen, you know, it looks like it's leaking a little bit. And the whole back wall is rotted. And we gotta replace the whole wall. So what we thought was gonna be a $12,000 problem turns into a $32,000 problem. With that, if you don't know your number, you gotta get someone there to figure out what that number is to protect yourself forgetting about property taxes. And so I was just kind of hitting on this one because this becomes such a big deal. What do you think, what's been crushing people in this really up market? As values went and just shot up, what killed their cash flow? New tax uh, raises. Exactly. I'm getting calls from our investors and they go, my property taxes went up 30, 40%. No crap value shot up massively so the property taxes went up to compensate and then right after that we got hit with the insurance double whammy so they're underestimating taxes and they don't estimate that the taxes will go up if your market is appreciating no the assessor is going to charge you more the next month or next year forgetting about hoa fees hoa fees will bite you i don't like buying condos why I'm so out of the loop and out of the control of the management of the HOA, they can raise the fees at any time and hurt me. But also realize even small HOA fees could jump dramatically. So if the HOA fee says $50 a month, you're like, oh, that's okay. What if it was 250? What if it was 100? Would that break this deal? So you need to go look at that and run it at a higher number to see if it's still gonna work because HOA fees always go up, they never go down. Follow the HOA, what are they doing? Monitor those people. Trusting photos without seeing it in person. I don't think you should ever buy a property site unseen. You may put under contract photos, video tour, things like that, but I don't feel comfortable spending my money or investors' money purchasing something that we haven't physically walked through, touched, and seen. That's part of this game too. You just kind of have to accept that. Otherwise, what'll happen is someone will send you marketing photos. In the marketing photo, they'll ignore the toxic waste dump in the backyard. They'll ignore the overhead power lines. They'll ignore the fact that the neighbor's a hoarder and you'll end up with something costing you a lot of money. 